Hey guys. Good evening. Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. ¿Qué onda, Elvis? Por ahí. ¿Qué dice el rey del rock? El rey del rock and roll. Te oís bien. Así que, ah, por ahí, ahí estamos. One, two, ok, five, six. Está aprendiendo <risa> los números, dice. ¿Y quién está? César. ¿Ah? ¿Quién está con, con el... Ah, chispa. Chafre, pues. Estás en principiante uno. No, hombre, es que el, 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 el está oyendo una, una gracia. Pero está ah. oyendo lento. Y yo tengo una duda. Este, ¿El nombre Eraidín significa algo, José? Pues, Eraidín. Uh, ah, hi, teacher. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, go, go ahead, José. Answer that question. No, uh, it doesn't mean something it doesn't i don't know how to say it. it doesn't mean anything or it doesn't mean something which is correct teacher oh it doesn't mean anything ah, it negative. doesn't mean anything it's just uh it's just my mother's invention she's very okay. creative no oh, could you it's curiosity and i think it's Un juego de nombres, pienso yo. My mother is very creative. Well, one of my sisters, eh, she called her Melby. My other sister, Danira. The other one, Orlin. The other one, Very Hilda. original. All my sisters and brothers have... Eh, Stranger names. What? It's a good original. Como ahora estaba yo teniendo una curiosidad de, de Serbia. Todos los nombres terminan en it. Itch. Puede sumar de todos y que Dukovic, Pablo Vic, que no sé qué máquina de eso, babo. Solo en eso pensaba. <laughs> Sí. Tú te llamarías César Ajá. Y a Lelich. Sí, es cierto. No. Le, le, Mira, le, 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 conozco a alguien que se mi, llama. Mi, mira todo el plantel de los de jugadores de Serbia. Mm. Todos terminaban en Yukovovic. No sé no. Ajá. Sí. A ver bueno. qué onda. Más curiosidades del mundial. Sounds pretty amazing, right? Sounds pretty amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. We're going to have class number eight today, right? We're still working with section number three, as you may see. Um, so this is the thing we're going to work on this one. Okay? The finished section? Uh, yeah, we're going to finish section number three today. Okay. So we're going to have a lot of practice on some exercises. Um, and I hope that you're done with the exercise that you have in the platform ready, right? Um, before you, before we get into the main thing, we're gonna have, I'm gonna take the attendance. Um, just give me some time. When you hear your beautiful name, do me a favor, say present or I'm here, okay? Today we have Thursday, 24th. Oh, Ali Lee, thank you so much. Present. Welcome again. Um, Today is... At Thanksgiving. Finally, right? Finally. It's that day. The day it's like it's a big for it's like big big celebration. Um, Ana Cecilia de Rodriguez. Oh my gosh, Ana Cecilia Rodriguez de Perez. Thank you so much. I'm sorry again. Ana Cecilia Romero de Rodriguez de Dominguez. Oh my gosh. Ana Cecilia Romero. Hello, hello. No? Okay. Anna Janira Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Evening. Welcome. Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Carmen. 
Guadalupe. Bridget is here. Bridget, are you here? Are, are you here, Bridget? Bridget, no, she's not here. That's rare. She's usually here, always, not today. Sorry. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Cesar, Ramirez. I am here, teacher. Thank you so much. Edith. <laughs> Guzman. Present, teacher. Welcome again. Eduardo Najarro. Hello, Eduardo. Present, teacher. Welcome. Elvis. Present, teacher. Welcome, Elvis. Uh, Emerson. Present. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, let me check. Stephanie Aparicio. Hello, Stephanie. No? Okay, let's continue with Fatima. Hello, Thank Fatima. You. No. Good evening and welcome. Um, Jaime Aldana. Hello, Jaime. No? Okay, let's continue with you, um, Jose. Good evening and welcome. Um, Karen Ceseña. Present teacher. Perfect. Karen Ceseña. No? Okay, let's carry on with um, Laura Arce. Hello, Laura. And welcome. No? She isn't here. What about Marvin? Hello, Marvin. Present teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Miguel Quintanilla. Hello, Miguel. Good evening. No? Okay. Uh, Morena Fuentes. Hello. Yes, teacher. Well, Hello. Nice to have you one more time. Oscar Rodriguez. Hello, Oscar. Present teacher. Welcome. Um, Raquel Santos. Mm -hmm. No? Okay. What about... um? Santiago Chavez. Good evening, teacher. And welcome. It's nice to have you. Yes. And Vilma Cartagena. Thank you, everybody, for being here. As you may know, today is a beautiful day, still alive. And we're still like working on this module. Number two, right? We're going to have section number three, and we, we have the class number eight. We're going to have some practice today about section number three okay and if you have any doubt or something about it let me know anytime we're going to start with this thing in here we're going to have these three pictures right what do you think people are celebrating if you want to participate raise your hand so you can do it okay look at the pictures and let me know what do you think these people are celebrating yeah Mm -hmm. If you Teacher, want, to... yes. The second one I think is Thanksgiving. Oh, because okay. of the turkey. Well, can you but describe? The... Can you describe it? what do you see in the in the picture? Well, people are sitting around the table sharing food. Mm -hmm. it is night and they are about to eat turkey. Turkey, right. How do you say, like, porque está, como está cocinado, is a thing. How do you say? Um, Boiled. No, I mean, horneado. How do you say horneado in English? Uh, I don't know. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Anybody else? Anybody else? Que le ayude a José, please, helping with horneado. Mm -hmm. There is a typical phrase that we use with this one. Yeah, we saw it in the video yesterday. In the video, they mentioned that thing. How do you say pavo? Bake. bake. We bake. say bake. Mm, yeah, but that's cocinado. Bake. Okay. Maybe we can say, it is correct. It is correct, baked. But we can say roast. Roast turkey. Roast turkey. Okay. That is the, the specific name for this kind of food. Rose turkey, <laughs> exactly. Rose turkey, right? Um, very good, very good. Um, thank you so much, Jose. 
what about picture? What about the others? What about the other pictures? Hmm? What picture. kind? Of... Yes. The third one is in, birthday. In picture three. Morena. Sí, yes. In picture three, uh, the family and friends celebrate birthday. Birthday. Okay, and where are they in picture number three? That, that you're saying that is picture number three. Where are they? Birthday. Yes, but where? What is the place? Uh, ah, okay. In, in the house. In the house. Ah, no, 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 no. And <laughs> I, white, verdad? <laughs> oh, there is and a restaurant. Okay, at the restaurant. Okay. The restaurant. Yes. Okay, so we have a waiter there, right? A waiter, very mm -hmm. good. Waiter. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you so much for sharing. Aleli, thank you, Aleli. Uh, the first picture is a picnic on the rivers. Swim on the rivers. Oh, okay, at the river. At the river. Yes, okay. At the river. What what kind of food do you bring when you go to a picnic? Aleli. Mm -hmm. Um I like the mountain and the river. I mean, no. No, I mean, what kind of food do people bring when they go oh, to um, con pizzas? Um, uh, no, it's a bread, bread, um, torta mexicana, teacher, <laughs> in <laughs> um, Coca Cola. Oh, Coca -Cola. yes, soda, right? Yeah. So people bring yes. soda. Okay, do you like picnics, Anneli, by the way? Uh, I like a picnic in the mountain. Okay, mountain. 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 Very good. Mountain. mountain. Mm -hmm. Okay, mountain. Very good. Um, okay, we're going to play an audio. I'm going to play an audio for you for this exercise. Just let me see what I have. It. Okay, I have it here. Okay, so you can name the pictures from one, two, three. Okay, let's listen. And name the picture, like number the pictures. I'm sorry, number the pictures from one to three. Is it already played, teacher? Because I can hear. ¿Cómo era, Santiago? Y se marchó. Thank you so much for letting me know. I, I thought I was yeah, I wasn't sharing audio. Okay, let me let me fix that thing really quick. Okay, here we go. If, if, if you don't see the like the image, uh, let me know so I can fix that. Okay. Oh, there is a tab here open. The picture one is a picnic. Unit eight, party time. Part B. Listen to people talk about different celebrations. Number the pictures from one to three. One. When any of us has a birthday, the rule is that we all go out together. We like to get a nice present and treat the birthday person to dinner at a restaurant, but it's nice just to get together. We've been doing this now for over 10 years, ever since we became friends at college. It's a way to keep in touch and a time to catch up on what's been happening with everyone. Two. For Thanksgiving, we usually like to get together with some of the neighbors for a big dinner. We take turns having it at each other's homes. It's fun because it's a time when the guys do all the cooking. But the menu is always the same. Roast turkey, 
with stuffing and mashed potatoes. After a fabulous dinner, we watch a football game together on TV. Three. At the end of the school year, before everyone goes off on vacation, my classmates like to have a picnic. We go to a nice place by the river, and everyone brings something to eat. It's a time when we talk about our plans for the summer. Usually it's nice and warm, and we all like to go swimming in the river. Okay, I think you got it, right? What is your number one? Thank you. Volunteers? He's a bird. Oh, number one is here. What about number two, Santiago? Thank you. Thanksgiving, teacher. Thanksgiving, very good. And the last one is going to be this one, right? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, so again, we have different celebrations, right? In this, um, let's say, section three, we're working with celebrating things. Right? And how do we do? We have different things like carnivals, we have like birthday parties, I don't know, school year endings, and we have this thing that is called Thanksgiving as well. Let's continue with the next Part C, unit eight, oh my. party time. Yes, we're gonna work with this part C, okay? In here, we're gonna have this chart, okay? No sé si lo ven bien o si no, o no lo ven bien at home. Let me know. Yes. Okay, okay. So we're gonna have two things here. We have section C and letter D, okay? The first thing we're gonna work with is with section C. You need to complete the chart. Here you have three things, three questions. What are they celebrating? Who celebrates together? And what do they do? So you need to complete this chart with the information given in the audio, okay? And then in exercise B, you will do something about a planned celebration for a birthday, a wedding, a college graduation, and New Year's Eve. Yeah, the first one I need you to focus is in letter C. So we're going to focus right now with letter C. Okay, listen the audio so you can answer the questions according to the celebration. Yes? Do you understand at, at home? Okay. If you have questions, anytime, people, just let me know. Let's listen. Unit 8. Party time. Part B. Listen to people talk about different celebrations. Number the pictures from one to three. One. When any of us has a birthday, the rule is that we all go out together. We like to get a nice present and treat the birthday person to dinner at a restaurant, but it's nice just to get together. We've been doing this now for over 10 years, ever since we became friends at college. It's a way to keep in touch and a time to catch up on what's been happening with everyone. Two. For Thanksgiving, we usually like to get together with some of the neighbors for a big dinner. We take turns having it at each other's homes. It's fun because it's a time when the guys do all the cooking. But the menu is always the same. Roast turkey, with stuffing and mashed potatoes. After a fabulous dinner, we watch a football game together on TV. Three. At the end of the school year, before everyone goes off on vacation, my classmates like to have a picnic. We go to a nice place by the river and everyone brings something to eat. It's a time when we talk about our plans for the summer. Usually it's nice and warm, and we all like to go swimming in the river. Part C. Listen again. Complete the chart. One. When any of us has a birthday, the rule is that we all go out together. We like to get a nice present and treat the birthday person to dinner at a restaurant, but it's nice just to get together. 
We've been doing this now for over ten years, ever since we became friends at college. It's a way to keep in touch and a time to catch up on what's been happening with everyone. Two. For Thanksgiving, we usually like to get together with some of the neighbors for a big dinner. We take turns having it at each other's homes. It's fun because it's a time when the guys do all the cooking. But the menu is always the same. Roast turkey with stuffing and mashed potatoes. After a fabulous dinner, we watch a football game together on TV. Three. At the end of the school year, before everyone goes off on vacation, my classmates like to have a picnic. We go to a nice place by the river, and everyone brings something to eat. It's a time when we talk about our plans for the summer. Usually it's nice and warm, and we all like to go swimming in the river. Uh, you got the answer, so you, you want me to play one more time? One more time, please. That's okay. Give me a minute. Yeah, one more time, please. Unit 8. Party time. Part B. Listen to people talk about different celebrations. Number the pictures from 1 to 3. 1. When any of us has a birthday, the rule is that we all go out together. We like to get a nice present and treat the birthday person to dinner at a restaurant, but it's nice just to get together. We've been doing this now for over 10 years, ever since we became friends at college. It's a way to keep in touch and a time to catch up on what's been happening with everyone. Two. For Thanksgiving, we usually like to get together with some of the neighbors for a big dinner. We take turns having it at each other's homes. It's fun because it's a time when the guys do all the cooking. But the menu is always the same. Roast turkey with stuffing and mashed potatoes. After a fabulous dinner, we watch a football game together on TV. Three. At the end of the school year, before everyone goes off on vacation, my classmates like to have a picnic. We go to a nice place by the river, and everyone brings something to eat. It's a time when we talk about our plans for the summer. Usually it's nice and warm, and we all like to go swimming in the river. Part C. Listen again. Complete the chart. 1. When any of us has a birthday, the rule is that we all go out together. We like to get a nice present and treat the birthday person to dinner at a restaurant, but it's nice just to get together. We've been doing this now for over 10 years, ever since we became friends at college. It's a way to keep in touch and a time to catch up on what's been happening with everyone. Two. For Thanksgiving, we usually like to get together with some of the neighbors for a big dinner. We take turns having it at each other's homes. It's fun because it's a time when the guys do all the cooking. But the menu is always the same. Roast turkey with stuffing and mashed potatoes. After a fabulous dinner, we watch a football game together on TV. Three. At the end of the school year, before everyone goes off on vacation, my classmates like to have a picnic. We go to a nice place by the river, and everyone brings something to eat. It's a time when we talk about our plans for the summer. Usually it's nice and warm, and we all like to go swimming in the river.
no se escucha. No, no se escucha, teacher. Give me a minute, please. I'm sorry. I need to. Okay. What is that? Oh, I love it. I have a bunch of dogs barking. Okay, so just, just give me a minute. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, you got the exercise, yes. Let me see. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay. So here we have the options with C. Okay. Uh, Raise your hand if you want to participate, please, so I can hear your answers. Okay, raise your hand, please, so I can hear your answers. Let me know, let me know. We have three things, right? The first one is what do they, what are they celebrating? And then we have like who celebrates together and what do they do? Let me check here. Okay, Emerson. Thank you, Emerson. Please. Eh, ¿Puedo intentarlo con la número dos? Oh, that's wonderful. Do it, please. Okay. What are they, they celebrating? Is a uh, uh, <laughs> Thanksgiving Day? Uh, with the uh, family and neighbor y solo que se le vea ahí está what do you do is uh, play football and watch TV that was perfect great job Emerson wonderful thank, thank you so you. much Santiago you're next thank you I'm next <laughs> bueno vamos a, pro a probar con la número Tres. Hola, la número tres, teacher. Oh, yes, do it. Go ahead. Go college, ahead. college graduation. Um, who celebrate together? And dice her classmate, la clase de ella. Y este, ¿qué querían hacer? What do they do? A, a picnic, swim in the river. Beautiful, that's correct. Okay, okay. great job, excellent. And the last one is for you, um, Alili. Thank you so much. Bueno, yo tenía la la número dos lista, pero bueno, um, algo que no agregó es que the view fa, view diner um, and food and roof turkey with toffee mashed potato um que watching tv football. no pero yo solo contesté la pregunta pues sí pero también dice que que que, que hacen pues va uh -huh. dios santo no, ya no, olvídalo. <laughs> yeah. And number one is happy birthday. Y es... <laughs> <laughs> y estar um, diner in the restaurant. Um, the friends, the college. Me parece que eran los amigos del colegio. Good job. Yes, Aleli, we have birthday. Birthday. It's not, not a happy birthday. It's, it's just a birthday. Ah, it's a birthday. Yes, yeah. a birthday. Oh, sí, porque okay. están felices de estar comiendo gratis, pues. Yeah, and then we have, we have a, like a dinner, a dinner, like. Oh, dinner. A dinner in restaurant. restaurant, yes. And then we have, you need to switch. Tiene que decir college, friends. College, college friends. friends, okay. Exactly, exactly, okay. Very good. The next thing is letter D. In letter okay. D, you need to plan like a celebration for one of these days. We have three Four events, a birthday party, 
a wedding anniversary, college graduation, New Year's Eve. So you need to have like the way you have in charge, let's see, like what do you celebrate, who celebrates together, and what do you do? Okay. Yes. So I'm going to give you 10 minutes to do this activity. And then when you're ready, uh, just let me know the way you plan your celebration. Yes, do you understand? At home? Vilma, entendió? Morena, Janira, you got it? Yes, sí, okay. teacher. Eh, yes, teacher. Eh, para cada actividad o, so, o solo escogemos una? Just pick one. Just pick one okay. and, and, and plan a celebration for that. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. 10 minutes. And when you're ready, raise your hand so you can participate. Mm. And if you have a question again, I'm here, yes. Uh, let me know anytime so I can help you out with it. Okay? This is just a celebration, the usual way you do celebrations, right? How do you plan that thing? A birthday party, let's say for your daughter or maybe for your son. How do you plan a birthday party? What do you do? Um, who celebrates, right? Yep, okay. Take your time. Uh, again, if you finish before the time, you can raise your hand so that I can hear your participation on this one. Okay, remember, like everything you do comes. Teacher, whichever we choose, we have to answer those three questions. A exactly, exactly. What about wedding anniversary? What do you think about that, Jose? Wedding anniversary. Wedi well, I've never been in one of the... Uh, oh, really? Clubs. No, I've never been. Oh, are, are you married or are you single? No, single. Oh, okay, people. Go down. Go down at home. We have another single gentleman here in the class. Oh, okay. So maybe you can plan something else. Okay, I'm sorry about it. Hey, Raquel Santos. Hello, Raquel. Can you speak? Can you speak, Raquel? Good evening. Yes. Okay. How, how are you? Hello. Thanks. What about you? I'm pretty good. What is your like? What is your day or event that you're doing right now? Um. I think New Year's Eve. Oh, okay. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Keep working on that. If you have a question, let me know. Okay. Are you start? Yeah. 
No. Unit A. Quitó el día de la marmota, teacher. Cambia de estación de clima. I was just checking the material, Adelie. I'm sorry, okay? Because I, like, like... Menos mal que fue eso y no fue otra cosa, teacher. Porque ya estaría usted en problemas. Oh, absolutely, no. I'm safe. I'm oh. always safe, okay? Okay, menos mal. Yeah. I'm always safe. When you're ready with your uh, description about your event, just just raise your hand so I can um, hear some participation. Not all of you would do it because of design, obviously, but I hope that I can hear some of you. Hello. Hello. Oh, Morena, thank you so much. Okay, teacher, thank you. In, in nephew's birthday party, 
we will do a big barbecue and we buy a chocolate, chocolate cake for the family and friends. And we will decorate uh, with photos of four players because my nephew is um, a sport lover. That's wonderful. Sounds pretty amazing. That sounds pretty amazing. Very good. Thank you so much, Marina. Love thank it. you, teacher. Jose, thank you, Jose. Well, I choose birthday party. Uh, for birthday party, we, uh, my friends and I used to go to a restaurant, depending on the, on the food that the birthday boy or girl want to eat. Uh, we used to eat, and after that, uh, sing the happy birthday song, and used to share some presents, just to give some presents to the birthday boy. And after that, we eat, we eat cake as a dessert, and that's it. We used to do it simple because we all work, teacher. Oh, yeah. Sounds pretty amazing. Sounds pretty amazing, right? Because it's like we have like a busy schedule at work. And sometimes if we don't have enough time to do so. But just a quick thing, Jose. You're talking about we used to. So that means it's like past, right? Events. Yes? Yes. Okay. Hey, teacher, I don't know how to say. Well, I, I searched for that word, but I didn't find something. Uh, cumpleañero. It's like a, like a, oh my gosh. <laughs> because Google said birthday boy or birthday girl, but I don't know if it is correct. I, yeah, that is correct, but I have another option. I have it on the tip of my tongue. Ah, oh, but I don't remember. Oh. oh well, don't worry, teacher. Yeah. I, will, I, yeah. I will send you. I will send you as soon as I get it. Because I think okay, it, there's thank another you, way to say that. Just a quick thing. Uh, be careful with simple present, like one s s s at the end. And also, okay. when you talk about something that a party, don't go with past. Don't say like, we, 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 we used to, like, right? Just go with present. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, we with, do. Exa exactly. We eat, we share, right? Ah, uh, okay. Exactly. Thank you. Go straight with that. Very good. Thank you so much. We will go with Cesar. Thank you, Cesar. Continue. Uh, the birthday party, my son, the April 21, uh, uh, with my family and college friends and little neighbor. Is, um, we take and drive and soda and piñata break and receive just my phone. And we spend a happy day together with my phone. Very good. Just great job, great job. Just be careful with at the beginning with possessives, like my son's birthday party, possessive case, okay? Thank you so much. Uh, all right. Uh, let's continue with you, Fatima. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. I me corrige si me equivoco. Uh, my celebrate is college graduation. Uh, who celebrate together? We're going to have a lunch with my family and friends in a good restaurant for celebrate my graduation. Um, what do they do? Going to have a good moment during drinking different sodas and remember history the children. Okay, just to be clear, you, you mentioned drinking sodas. That was very good, okay. Just to be clear for everybody, right? Drinking sodas. <laughs> that was very good. And also, I love the way you use like future with going to. 
You know what I mean? Teacher, I'm sorry. In English, how do you say con piquete? Con piquete. <laughs> how do you say that expression? Oh, that's very difficult. Uh, Jose. Con piquete. High ball. High oh, ball. With liquor. Liquor? We can say liquor. liquor. Oh, with, with, with something ball. else? With something else? I mean, but con piquete is like an original, I mean, word, you know, it's like a proper vocabulary from mm -hmm. Latin America. So, well, like, with, with drago, spiritual <laughs> drinks. So, so, <laughs> only so, piquete. <laughs> we don't have, we don't have some things in English like that. With, okay. with, with piquete, with piquete. unfortunately. <laughs> with, we, with we don't have <laughs> but if you want to say something like that, uh, how can you say it? Oh, maybe you can, uh, you can add something, you know, add. Add. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. You, you can say that, that expression like, oh, I want a soda. And you can add something else to that. Yeah. Like happy sodas, for example. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, teacher. Continue, I mean, I'm sorry. No, no, Welcome no. to happy tour. <laughs> because it's the like happy hour. hour. Yes, happy hour. Welcome. <laughs> oh, okay. Happy hour. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> happy hour. What's that, Dalili? Okay. What's that? Okay. Um, yeah, we have like, um, in English, we go straight to the point. But I will find out a little bit more on that, Jose, and I will let you know. Uh, we have two expressions. One is like, uh, cumpleañero, right? you told me, and the other one is con piquete. Okay. And Thank you, teacher. Piquete, okay. Oh, um, okay. Graduation, 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 okay, Fatima, the rest is very good, and I love it. They will also use future, con future with going to, that was pretty much incredible. I love it. Okay. The next activity, which is pretty much something insane, which is about unusual things, right? Unusual me, celebrations, right? Me, yes. Laura, Laura quería participar. Oh, oh, Laura. La mano. Yeah. oh, Laura, I'm sorry. Are you there, Laura? Yes, teacher. Ready? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Perfect, do it, please, thank you. For New Year's Eve, I will travel to meet um, my mother, sisters, uncles, and cousins. Um, my mother will cook turkey, and we will all um, have dinner together. Beautiful. I, I'll cook the dessert, and okay. then we will go see a light show, show, show. Show, beautiful. Amazing, very good, Laura. Great job, thank you. Cecilia? Yes, teacher. Uh, we will celebrate my sister's wedding in the month of December. We are 150 guests, guests, family, and friends. Very good. Uh, the reception will be at night in a garden. Uh, we will eat chicken, rice, and salad. We will drink soda, tea, coffee, eat. beer. We will eat cake. Very good. Okay. Great job. Just, just a few things with pronunciation like wedding, gas, um, tea, and beer. Very okay. good. Very good. Okay. 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 Great Thank job. Um, let me see. Marvin. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, teacher. And uh, the celebration, my birthday. And uh, in my birthday, when 
we went to out to eat a different place. After after eating, we enjoy conversation with my family. Uh, for example, uh, my and uh, and uh, went out to the last the last the last birthday este, we went out to Atami Beach we swimming uh, swimming at the beach uh, eight road speed very good thank you so much just just be careful with the like with organizing your your ideas okay marvin uh because uh you need to be careful with like if you are going to use will with future or if you are going to use simple present or going to to explain something okay just so you can have the idea really clear you know what i mean yes Okay. Uh, because I understand you're having a like your birthday celebration, but you're giving me different details. So I'm um, like, and then you went to the past, like, because you mentioned something about like going to like the beach or something like that. Just 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 be be clear with the ideas, you know what I mean? And skip is uh, I mean like keep working with, with that. Okay, Marvin. Thank you so much. Um, again, our last activity is going to be this one, something unusual, unusual celebrations, okay, like this one, okay, we have, oh my gosh, look at this one, Groundhog Day, okay, Groundhog Day. Animal yes. is, teacher? I have no idea. It looks like a square. Marmota, marmota. Oh, it's una marmota. marmota. It's es parecido, parecido a, es parecido a los, es, um, los animalitos que hacen. No. Like a square? No, hay una que se llama Marta también, pero eso solo, solo se dan en los Estados Unidos o países muy helados como Canadá, Estados Unidos. Se bien, Marta. La, sí, hay una que se llama Marta. Oh, ok. Es familiar de la marmota. Uh, Yo las conocía sí. por separado, teacher. Oh, really? Yes, Mar y Mota. Ah, <laughs> 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 es familia qué de los castores. Qué chistoso, Algo se parece a unas, a unos animales. A las llaman... cotusas. Exacto, ah. se parecen bastante. A los tacuaciones. <laughs> está riéndose. Y esto que está pensando en la soda con piquet. Y coffee con picket. With I'm picket. Believable. I'm believable. Ah, <laughs> los cubanitos, dice okay. usted. <laughs> okay. So we have this example, like you have an unusual celebration, like in el our country, el, right? And you need to like, chila. and you need to like do it like the way you did it in the first one, like in the previous exercise, right? Who celebrates this thing? Uh, where is celebrated and why is celebrated? Think about something unusual like crazy salvadorian people do celebrate here in like in our country right there are some things that are absolutely crazy and i have no idea why do we celebrate those maybe you can talk about this uh thing in texas in the meantime i have to take the attendance one more time i'm sorry okay so uh guarden ahí el... oh my gosh give me a minute guarden ahí la activity Okay, so you can practice a little bit more. Solo deme un minute. Que esta cosa cuando tira ventanitas no se ve. Okay, ahí está. La manda, la manda el WhatsApp. Exactly, please. That would be good. Okay, so uh, you can have something about unusual celebrations in our country. We know that we have a bunch of them, right? Um, and in the meantime, I will take the attendance one more time. Um, <laughs> I'm just thinking about the thing you said, which is about knowing something in different like ways. Okay, um, uh, Aleli, you're here, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Ana Celia Rodriguez. 
No le pasa la Loli. <laughs> Ana Cecilia Romero de Domínguez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Um, Ana Mendoza. I'm here, teacher. Bridget. Hello, Bridget. Are you here? No? She's already on uh, Thanksgiving Day celebration, right? Carmen Guadalupe Escamilla. Present oh, Thank you, Cesar. Um, Edith Guzman. Um, also, Eduardo Najar. Thank you. So much. Elvis, you here, right? Present teacher. Emerson. Present. Stephanie Aparicio. Uh, thank you. That's Stephanie Aparicio, I guess, right? Yes. Uh, yes. Fatima, you're here, uh, right? Uh, Fatima. Oh, 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 oh. Jaime Aldana. Jaime, what happened with Jaime? Is he is he okay? Because he's absent. I don't know why. Okay, what about uh, Jose? You're here, right? Thank you so much. Present teacher. Um, Karen Ceseña. Hello, Karen. Um, no. Okay. Um, Laura, you're here, right, Laura? Present teacher. I heard your your participation. Uh, Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Thank you so much. Um, Miguel. Thank you, Miguel. Um, this is the other one. Morena Fuentes. Hello, Morena. Present teacher. Hello. Oscar Rodriguez Linares. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, Raquel Santos. Present. Thank you so much. Uh, Santiago Chavez. Present teacher. Okay, and then we're gonna have Vilma Cartagena. Hello, Vilma. Let me check chat on Zoom because sometimes you um send messages there and I don't I don't have time to check them. Uh what about the chat that we have on WhatsApp? Um somebody was requesting ID and thank you so much because somebody else helped. Parece que está ahí Vilma, pero no se lo dio el audio. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you so much, Cesar. Thank you so much for being so nice. Look at that's the people that we need in El Salvador, right? Nice people, right? Thank you so much for letting me know that. Okay. Let me see. What is the material? Okay. Thank you, Vilma. Thank you. So much. <laughs> oh, she's there. Send a message. Okay. Uh, with this one, right? Just, just do it at, at home if you have the chance. Um, just for practice, it's hard sometimes find something crazy here. Let me see, and and then we we'll finish with section number uh, three. Okay. Don't forget that you have the exercise, Marvin, and everybody in the platform, so you can like do the exercise and practice a little bit more. Uh, again, you're really doing it like uh, really good. Great, everything is fantastic. Also, the level of English you have is pretty much really good. Okay, so congrats all of you. Keep working on that. Uh, practice your English as much as possible. Any chance you have available at home to practice your English, even like annoying your family or, or relatives, do it, you know what I mean? The purpose of this is you learning English. How will you do it? It's up to you, right? So practice your English uh, anytime right? or as much as possible, right? Uh, and enjoy your life. Be happy, be kind, and we will see you next week on Monday. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. See you Monday. Bye -bye. Take care. Oh, nice you weekend. You do the Bye. same Monday. Do the Bye. same Monday. <laughs> Vas a tomar ahora, esta mañana. Vas a tomar piquete, Leli.